Okay, well here we are in Orchard Park. It's December 26th. You're gonna see what the driveway looks like at the same time I do. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with here. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. <sighs> That's three feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh man all right well we'll record what's going on and then we'll uh high speed it for you oh but i'll walk out into it so you can see powdery on the top the top two feet the bottom foot is pretty compacted i'm not touching driveway I'm still not touching driveway, but closer to it. So there you go. Maybe it's not quite three, two and a half feet. I don't know. I gotta break it down with a shovel a little bit, it's too much. These gloves are lined, they're really good, but my left hand's already freezing because of contact with the metal blower. Go team. All right, come with me, let's find out. Good morning, Mrs. Moose Wizard Dave. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I hope the camera's still running and the battery's not out. Wow. <laughs> the overhang. Just like fall off. Well, no, I mean, it's just, it started sticking. It was real powdery to a point yesterday and then it just started sticking like crazy. All right, here we go. Not there. <laughs> I don't know where I put them. You don't think they're in the back seat? Well, anything's possible, but I really don't think they are. Uh, no. But now there's snow on the seat. Oh man, great job. I knew I should have cleared some of this first. Eh. Somebody will get a mild case of wet butt. Your books are not in the car. <laughs> okay, there's a reason I don't wear my glasses when I snow blow. That's it. Yeah, my car's getting a mohawk. All right.
Now it's time for everybody's favorite show. Hey, I got a riddle for you. What lasts longer than a GoPro battery in cold weather? I'll give you five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Everything, everything lasts longer than a GoPro battery in cold weather. They are garbage, absolute trash when it is cold out. Trash. If you can't see well enough, just imagine it. It'll look like what you think it looks like. Unless you're taking the snow off for the weight. You only really need to get the area that's over the eaves of the house to prevent the ice stands. Because what happens is over the warmth of the house, the snow will melt and go down the roof. And then when it gets to the eaves where it's not heated from below, it's all really cold there, it'll freeze on those eaves and it'll build up and that forms an ice dam. It looks like a giant wave of ice that doesn't go away. When the snow melts, water builds up behind those dams, gets underneath the shingles. It can get tied up in the soffits. It's a real honest to goodness mess. We had 20 something thousand dollars of damage from ice dams in 2015, which is why I roof rake every single time it snows now. Oh, so to me anyway. Hey, I'm down here. <laughs> the places where you roof rake, to me, are along the eaves. If you can reach it up like I did here, but at connecting points between the house and a secondary room, there's a path you can't see that's right behind the house here that goes over a mud room in the garage. I'll make one little path there so the water has a place to go. And that's all. So, uh, see you next time something moderately interesting happens. <laughs> <laughs>